Today I'm going to be making some full racks of spare ribs out on the Oklahoma Joe's Highland. But the rub we're going to be using is a little interesting because we're going to be making some pineapple brown sugar ribs. So before we get the ribs out here, we've got to get our rub ready. Very simple ingredients for this one. I'm going to be mixing it up in my little food processor here today. First ingredient is one ounce of freeze-dried pineapple chunks. And I want to process these a little bit before we add the other ingredients. You really want to get this down until it's like a chunky powder. That's looking good. Got a few little rocks in there still of these pineapple chunks. Those are gonna break down a little more as we add our other ingredients. Oh boy, you can smell that pineapple in the air. Next ingredient is a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, you don't have to add this, but I like that there is a little bit of a background heat in this. It's not gonna be hot at all. Just that little touch of it. Now we're gonna add one and a half cups of brown sugar. We're gonna mix this all together. Dump this back into our brown sugar bowl here. Let's give it a quick little mix with the spoon to make sure everything isn't clumped up. And that's looking good and it's smelling great. Let's get our ribs out here and get these on. So here are our two big old racks of spare ribs. I've taken the membranes off, trimmed them up a bit, but they're big boys. I mean, these are not even fitting on my tray fully. Now today, I'm not gonna worry about the bottom side, the bone side of this at all. I'm not gonna put any seasoning on there. Really gonna focus on the top. So first, before we get that rub on, I wanna put just a nice little light base layer of salt and pepper. This is two parts pepper to one part kosher salt. Just a little layer here. this guy because I know some of him's hidden under here. All right, that's good. And now we're going to get our pineapple brown sugar rub on here. I'm going to go ahead and start sprinkling it everywhere and I'll spread it around once it's on here. You get almost a consistency of sand with this when you mix that freeze dried pineapple with brown sugar, which kind of has some moisture in it still. And when you put it in that processor, that moisture transfers and you kind of get these little almost clumpy bits, which are great. The, I mean, the pineapple smell coming off of this is amazing right now. So I just want to start rubbing this in, spreading it around evenly. And we'll lift the covered bits here and make sure everybody gets some. Let's lift this guy up on top to make sure he gets good coverage. All right, these racks are ready. Let's get them out to the Oklahoma Joe's Highland. All right, the Oklahoma Joe's Highland is about 287 right now. Temperature I'm shooting for today is somewhere between 250 and 300. Anywhere in that range is gonna be fine with me. So let's go ahead and get our ribs on. I have my two water pans full at the smokestack side of the cook chamber, and my ambient temperature probe is pretty much dead center in the front of the cook chamber. I'm gonna place these as far back from the firebox as I can with the thicker side facing the firebox. I'm gonna get a little bit of contact here. That's all right. All right, let's get this closed up and get smoking. Give our fire a quick check here. Looking good. I'm burning hickory today if I hadn't mentioned that already. Just gonna keep watching the fire, adding wood as I need to, so we can keep that temperature in that 250 to 300 range. As I mentioned, 250 to 300 will be a perfect range for this today. Probably gonna be somewhere in the five to six hour range to cook this. We'll have a look at them after a couple hours to see what the tenderness factor is, how much flex they have. And I'll start thinking at that point about maybe wrapping them in the three hour mark. I may not wrap these today. We're just gonna kind of play it by ear. But when we get close to that last hour of cook, we are gonna be saucing it with a really nice doctored up barbecue sauce that we're gonna go inside and make right now. 
So for this barbecue sauce that we're gonna get ready today for our ribs while they're just starting out on the Oklahoma Joe's Highland, we're gonna be starting with a base of a barbecue sauce that you wanna use. You choose your favorite simple barbecue sauce and we're gonna use 18 ounces of it. Today I'm using a Chris and Pitts original barbecue sauce. I'm gonna pour this in here. To this I'm gonna add four ounces of Cactus Cooler. Now Cactus Cooler is an orange pineapple soda. Uh, might not be available in your area. I know certain things that other people talk about I have to hunt for here if I want them, like that cheer wine when I made the cheer wine barbecue sauce. But if you can find it, it's fantastic. If not, you know, pick another sort of orangey pineapple soda. If you can find an orange pineapple soda, go for it. Great flavors in that. And our final ingredient is one tablespoon of orange zest. We're just gonna take a whisk and mix this together. We're not gonna heat this, reduce it, anything like that. Once it's mixed together here, it's going in the refrigerator until we need it to glaze the ribs. And get that orange coming off here already. Take a little taste. Oh, great barbecue sauce flavor with a really nice citrus punch from that orange pineapple soda and the orange zest. Really, the orange zest is coming through in this a lot. And that's a great compliment for the pineapple brown sugar rub on those ribs. So I'm gonna get this in the refrigerator and I'll bring you back when we check in the ribs in a couple hours. Temp's dropping a little bit. We're about an hour and a half in, so it's time to add some more wood. Just wanna knock some of the ash down out of here. Looks like it's catching nicely. Gonna go ahead and close this up, keep smoking. It might be hard to see in this light, but we're at 289 at two hours. We added wood about half an hour ago. So let's check these ribs out, see how they're doing. We've got one rib in sunlight, one not in sunlight, so it's pretty hard to see them, but they are looking good. Plenty of moisture on these. We are not gonna need to spritz. There's the surface of the rib that's in the shade. You can see you got nice little chunks of that pineapple, the parts that didn't turn to powder, still on the surface dissolving. This is looking terrific. And down here at the end of this first rack of ribs, you can see we're starting to get good pullback on the bones. I'm gonna do a quick little flex test here just to see how we're doing. Now we got a good amount of flex there, but you can see how much juice there is. It just kind of spills off onto the baffle plates here. Still plenty of moisture here. No need to spritz these at all. And at this point, I'm not seeing a need to wrap them yet. So we've been two hours in, they still have you know, at least two, three more hours to go. So we're gonna let these keep going. We'll check them again in another two hours. And that's probably when we're gonna sauce them. See you back here in a couple hours. All right, we are at the four hour mark. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, look at those beauties. These are looking really, really good. Pull back on the bones is just excellent right now. I don't think we have much longer to go. These are cooking quickly, so I want to get them sauced because I want them to have at least a half an hour with sauce. Make sure we get a nice coating on here. All right, I'm gonna close this up. We're gonna go for about half an hour more, then these are gonna be done. All right, we've been going a total four and a half hours, that last half hour with the sauce. I think we are done. Man, those smell good. Look great too. So we've got really good pullback on the meat from the bones there. I'm gonna go ahead and get these off, get them inside. I don't even need to probe these for tenderness. And that flex and what I'm seeing right now, these are done. These are looking pretty tender. I've gotta be careful here. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, here they are. Here is one of our racks of our pineapple brown sugar ribs. Now, I always say when I'm gonna cut ribs that I don't like to turn them over because you can see the bone and it's easier to cut through, but I don't like messing up the top, but, but on these, I know I'm gonna mess the cut up. I always do on spare ribs, so I am gonna flip it over real quick so we can cut it here. And we're just gonna go there. 
And with spare ribs, you have all this nice extra meat here. You can take this whole skirt off here ahead of time, make um, St. Louis cut and turn these into rib tips, which I've done before in a video. Really good, but sometimes it's nice to just leave a whole full rack of spares. So let's turn this back over here. Ah, we didn't ruin the coating too much. Let's see. And on spares, you can get like a very thin amount of meat, but we did get a little bit of smoke ring there, which is nice. This looks really good here, nice and juicy. All right, the ribs are cut. I'm ready, it's time to taste. So yeah, it's just time to dig in here. Let's get a first bite. Oh man, that pineapple flavor, that sweetness with the brown sugar just permeates this. That sauce to finish it off, perfect. Nice and tangy from that Chris and Pitt's barbecue sauce, which is a little tangier than just a sweet sauce, but the addition of that orange zest adds another little zip to it, and some of that cactus cooler to bring in that pineapple flavor and that pineapple sweetness, perfect on this. And what can I say? Hickory, my favorite wood to use with pork ribs. It just turns out great every time. Perfect pull away from the bone, not falling off the bone. I've said many times, I prefer there to be a little bit of the bite when I have ribs. I don't like falling off the bone. I mean, I'll eat them, they're good, but I just prefer that extra little bit of bite to it. If you're not getting messy when you're eating ribs, you're doing something wrong. Mm. So if you're looking to do ribs a little bit differently, but with a great flavor and a familiar flavor, try using some freeze-dried pineapple in your rub mix with some brown sugar. It's just a fantastic mix with pork. Works well on other cuts of pork, but on these ribs, it's out of this world. Oh, man.